Paul. 102 for game day. That is hot, hot, caliente style. It is hot tailgating, but 8 o'clock at night. Uh, we'll get some relief there. All right. The professional arena football team coming to Tucson will reveal its name in a few weeks with the season set to start in 2019. And now Tucson Indoor Football is introducing the franchise squad's first head coach. There was a special ceremony at the playground bar and lounge in the heart of downtown and the Rio Nuevo district. Tucson, Arizona meet coach Marcus Coleman comes to the old Pueblo after a successful stint as the defensive coordinator for the reigning indoor football league champions, the Iowa Barnstormers. Coleman's team had the league's top ranked defense. Coleman played 11 years in the NFL for the Jets, the Texans and Cowboys. He'll spend the next few months formulating a coaching staff and assembling football players for the upcoming indoor season. Coleman tells me he has loved Tucson ever since he had the chance to suit up here at the Copper Bowl back in 1995 at Arizona Stadium when his Texas Tech squad knocked off Air Force 55-41. The city itself, they, they took really good care of us and you know, any, you know, we went to several bowl games at Tech, but we always come back to this one as, as one of our favorites because the city was so good to us and we enjoyed everything about the city of Tucson and, and enjoyed the bowl game and the committee took care of us. So it, it was it was fun and that's why I'm excited. You know, you know, thinking about that is, you know, I'm excited to be back here just in a different role. Hey, welcome to the old Pueblo, my friend. All right, the Friday football fever is back in the mix in a few days with teams such as Douglas High School, Marana High School, hoping to move to 5-0. and Other unbeaten teams this young season include Tucson High, South Point, just to name a few. And don't forget about Nogales High School turning heads, especially with a female kicker. I first introduce you to Maile Vasquez in week zero after she booted two extra points against Joya. And now an article has been written about her in USA Today. In Nogales' 45-0 win over Catalina, Vasquez entered the Arizona record books for the most extra points in a game by a female kicker. Six extra points. We have a link to the USA Today article on KVOA.com. Hey, if you're wondering, Maile Vasquez and Nogales will take on Walden Grove in Sawarita this Friday. Hey, we're far from over with after the break. More sports, including a check-in with the U of A volleyball team as freshman sensation. She talks about becoming a Wildcat as Arizona hopes to move to 11-1 by the end of the weekend. More sports, more energy, more volleyballing after the break.